Hi everybody and welcome to another Royal High SMP Minecraft server episode and look I am ready for battle and you're asking why actually I'm not ready because my armor's not enchanted which I'm gonna do why Spawn explains what's happened and she's not here look look she's nowhere nowhere on the island nowhere here at all she is thousands of blocks away aren't you Spawn so should I tell people, should I tell the folks what happened? You, you tell a story and I'll make everyone armor. Everyone gather around for story time. Everyone gather around for story time. So, now, do you want me to make you a set of armor as well? I don't think I've got enough anyway, diamonds. Okay, then do what you think's best. Well, I'll, well, I'll tell the story. You tell the story. Sit down um, and, and have so, a nice story, everybody. It all started as, as, as things do with the best intentions. Patch comes over to me. We're doing the campsite. Patch comes over to me and she says, Oh! I'll get started on the palm trees. What wood do you think I should use? And I said, well, I'm guessing oak because it's quite dark wood. It's not birch wood, for example. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. A thought I wish never crossed my mind and head now, looking back retrospectively. It occurred to me that this is biomes so plenty and there is palm wood in the game. You can actually get palm trees in the game. And I was like, we just need to get some palm saplings. So... Where do you get palm saplings? Well, I looked up it, they're in tropics. So I then make a nature's compass and I click on it and it searches 10,000 blocks around you to see if there's a tropics biome there. And there wasn't any. And I thought, okay, well, I'll go to other people's places. So I went through almost everybody, everyone's home base. And I'm going for a halfway through and patch laughs and she jokes me. So there was no point going to Professor Fox's because he's in the middle of a of a snowy ice biome. And I laugh, I said, yeah, good point, no point. Well, you can see where this is going. So I landed at <laughs> Professor Fox's anyway. Because you went to everybody else's, didn't you? Every else else everybody else's. Went, landed up at Fox's, I run the compass, and there it is, seven and a half thousand blocks away, there's a tropics biome. And I'm like, yes, found it. Right, I'm off my expedition patch, I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. During my adventures, I I get attacked by these flying creatures that seem to chuck swords at you. Oh, it's um, really scary, wasn't was it? I had four of them chasing me. I had to dig underground and then mine underground for like a hundred blocks so I could pop out and go and be safe. I then um, had to sleep on an island overnight while I was waiting for the sun to obviously, you know, set and rise and all that. While I'd popped out, a crocodile tried to eat me. It, it got me down to half a heart, but I managed to, to beat it. Um, I had to heal up from that. Anyway, and I'm on my own. Patch is gone by this point because I'm like, well, Patch, you go off. I'm, I'm just going to keep trekking. <laughs> there I am on a little tiny island waiting for the sun. I've got about four in minute gains. I've got about 10 seconds. I'm just waiting 10 seconds um, to go and go to sleep. So I've got my bed ready. I'm just looking around. And then over the horizon, almost like dramatic music, but a massive, I'm talking massive, red dragon comes out of nowhere and shoots a fireball at me. I panic. I, I, I'm only quite on the edge because of those things that shoot swords at you. So I've only got my shovel and blocks on my hotbar. I dig straight down, put a block over my head. I can hear the fire erupting above me. And I'm... And anyway, so I, I dig down further and further. And anyway, I'm sitting there and I just want to wait for it to be daytime. Think it maybe it despawns and I can go up and see what happened. And I can hear some of the fire going out. So I sit there and I'm and I'm doing about five minutes and I'm thinking, you know what, I must go to the bathroom at this point. So I go off and I go off to the bathroom. I'm just about to open the door. I've still got my headphones on because I've got Bluetooth headphones. And then suddenly I can hear them on fire in my headphones. I run back to my computer, <laughs> rush onto it. I'm on fire for some reason. I can't get to my water bucket in time and I die. And oh. that is where I left. And I didn't respawn because this thing. Did my bed get destroyed during the fireball? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to respawn where the dragon killed me. And thus, on the one hand, quite good, I'm right near the grave to pick up my stuff. Or am I going to respawn back at spawn because that bed got destroyed? So, um, so shall we log on and see what happened to you? What's my fate? Shall we see that then, Pat? Oh, yes. This is, this is scary, isn't it? Before you go, I'd just like to say I have enchanted diamond armor. I have got a sharpness 2 diamond sword and I've got 12 wool. Do you want me to bring more wool? I don't know, because here's the thing about the beds. If a bed gets destroyed, 
So you can set respawn points, and we can always just spawn back at the. We could, you know, like in Fallen's or Bust, Kurt makes his hidey holes. Yes. We could do that and have a safe place to respawn our beds each time. So I think I would be better off getting more wool, more. To make loads of beds. So if I get a, bring a stack of wool with me. Yeah, and then we make a ton of beds. And then we will respawn at the previous hidey hole rather than right back at the beginning. Yes. And that's start our journey all over again. Yeah. Where do we I say Al again. I don't know. I don't have locked in yet. I don't know where I'm going to respawn. I might be. That bed, that bed may have survived the fireball. <laughs> <laughs> or it may not have. I don't think it has. I'm expecting to spawn back at spawn. Um, shall I load and see? You load in and I'll go and shear some sheep. Okay, right. It's encrypting. It's encrypting. Oh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna land a bucket spawn first. I think a bed probably got destroyed in the oh, fireball. It says you've joined. Go, it says you've joined. We go loading the terrain. Loading terrain. Ooh. Now, if it if I do spawn back where the dragon killed me, I need to dig straight down back into that hidey hole. Yes. And then patch alone needs to come and save me. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> or I can if I'm spawn. Yeah. It's still loading terrain. I still know what's happened. Here. We're, I'm a bucket spawn. We, we okay. are. We are ready okay. to go and rescue right. you. Okay, right, it says you died. I've got to press the respawn button. Are you ready? Yeah, we're all ready. I'm back at spawn. Oh, okay. So what we spawn. need to do is you need to come here and we need to get you all geared up and then we need to go out and get your stuff. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be, a, it's going to be, a, we're going to try and find my grave. I mean, we've got coordinates. Do we but, need um... to find your grave or would it just be safer just to go okay, to well, the it's palm? Okay, well, it's given me the obituary. So what I can do is I can tell you what I had on me when I died. Yes, and let's see if it's worthwhile going. I'll skip the stuff that's obvious, like a stack of dirt. You don't need to know about that. Yes. So let's stick the obvious stuff. One diamond pickaxe. Nope. 30, 38 baked potatoes. Nope. Stack of torches. No. Uh, 69 ingots. No. One acacia sapling. Ooh, now that's interesting, isn't it, folks? Three emeralds. Hmm, we can get them back from the village uh, that you saw, couldn't we? Uh, three... No, sorry, no. T two fir saplings, like a fir tree. Um, yeah, we could get that again on our journey, couldn't we? One shulker box. Yeah, we can pick. You can pick that up now from uh, spawn. Sure, I guess so. Um, one book. I, I ran out of the book on me. Uh, nature's compass. We can make another one. Yes. Um, forty-five lily pads because I kept smashing into them on my boat yeah. ride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then shield, iron armor, and then everything's like obvious stuff like. Right. You know, so we don't need to go and find your grave, but we do need to find the palm tree. But also, we're probably walking on the same path to get to the park. I was making the most direct path. Yeah. We're probably going to walk over my grave to get there. And if we do, we can we can do it. Okay, we're going to go off now, and we'll um, we'll get spawn all decked up, and then we'll we'll head off to get um a palm tree. So yeah, I, 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 I don't know where I don't know where the um. Mm, that's weird. Okay, I'll take, take a shulk. I'll take a purple shulker box. I don't get. Where's the waypoint point? <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, everyone, we're back, and that took, it seems like hours, absolutely <laughs> hours, for us to get sorted. Don't ever expect us to be quick at doing this because that was right ridiculous. But look, look what I've got in my hand. I've got a special thing. It's one of those compassy things, isn't it? Spawn. Yes, and I'll show you how to work it once we get to Professor Fox's. Um because yeah, we've got to set a new path obviously to get to my grave so everybody shall we we're going to just set up on our bench just a little bit and then and then don't worry you have to join us the whole way we'll probably montage it but first off we've got to go to um we've got to go to fox home oh he's underneath us fox home mm. right so here's fox home fox home <laughs> um here's the front door don't and then i was out here I thought myself, well, this isn't going to work. So, holding your compass patch. Yes. Right click. Right yeah, so click. Ooh. Right. Ooh, now, on the top left, do you see a search bar? Search bar. I see select bar. Oh, search. Yes. Yep. Right, then type in tropic. Oh, yes. And tropic beach and tropics. 
So we're looking for tropics with an S. So click that and then press start search. And it will scan and there you go. And then. Ooh, found. It says found, found. spawned. Now if you look at your if you look at your just if you look at your hotbar and you just slowly turn around, the compass will tell you which way it is. Um, it's just it moving is. around the compass. Is it? Yeah. How do you know which way is the right way? Does it come up with the word tropics on it? I'm supposed to just follow the... I, I've, I, I've got it going this way, over here. This yeah, direction. but I don't understand how the compass works, Bob. Oh, no, okay, look at, look at the way I'm looking. So look the same orientation I am. Yes. The compass should be pointing north. Ah, so the compass is always pointing north. That's the right way. But also, if you look at the far left, you see those coordinates, minus 2, 2, 7, 2, whatever it is, yeah? Yes, yeah. And then underneath it, when you move around, the distance changes. Oh, yes, I can see the distance it's flashing. So it's counting down. So now it's counting down. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what I did is I walked this way to get around this huge mountain, and then, and so yeah, so now you can put the compass away and get your sword out. Obviously the numbers oh. disappear, but you can keep following the compass, you know, point so to keep to know which way you're heading. Um, what do you mean by compass point? Oh, do you see this? Oh. It's just all moving. The compass is just no, it's all. No, it's not. It's not. If you stand still, it's not. It's not. It will point a certain way. Wait for it to slow down, and there you go. It points one direction. Yeah, but how do you know that? So I've got to walk this way into the water. Yeah, no, because you're not an idiot. So what you do, Patch, is you walk around the mountain. <laughs> I'm not an idiot, folks. Did you hear that? <laughs> I am not so an look, idiot. And then I turn, and now it's pointing north again. So it's always got to be pointing north. Yes, and you know you're going the right way. And if it's not pointing north, like you've got a massive mountain around the way, it's got to manoeuvre around it, and then go north. Luckily, yeah. I've got Spawn with me. Do you not see it pointing north now? Yeah, but my little thing in the corner where it... Oh, I've got to click on it, haven't I? It doesn't have to go. I've got my sword out, so you don't have to. But it doesn't tell me where I'm going. What do you mean it doesn't tell you where you're going? You're heading north. Mm. Oh, I see. I can look at the north thing on the on the, on the the mini-map. On the mini-map. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You can see the dyslexic in me is having real trouble with, with, with calls okay, like the I best tried. of times. Okay, I okay, right. Let's talk palm and trees. Walk. Palm trees are dead ahead of me, yeah? Okay. Granted, they're about 7,000 blocks away, but they're dead ahead of me, yeah? Right. Because it's pointing north. Now, if I was walking this way, I'd be wrong, it's pointing east, so I'm going the wrong way. So I need to make sure it's going north. Ah! Because always points to your desk, it always points north. <sighs> and granted, this isn't north, north, because, you know. It's not north, north. But uh, it's big black thing yes. that you took a photo of it. and showed me the other day. Uh, yeah, I showed you it. I showed you the photo of it. Um, we just move really it... fast and past the nasty thing. Okay, but your destination, you, because you told it to take us to the tropics. Yeah. That's where our compass is pointing. It's pointing ah, always towards tropics. Now, because I followed it quite religiously, we're also going directly to my death grave. <laughs> uh -huh. My death grave is counting down on the screen as well that I can see. Oh see, my gosh, there's a crocodile. Where? Don't go, don't run towards me. I'm running away from it. Run. Oh, croc, 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 croc. I don't like crocodiles. There's a fly thing in here as well. Okay, oh, so... Are with the squall to in trouble? Mm -hmm. This is quite safe though, if you want to log off here. Yes, yeah, so let's log off, off here. <laughs> let's say farewell. If we log off, what's the point of our adventure? No, let's let's um, say, say goodbye, goodbye here. Because again, it's been quite. I know actually, it's been quite funny so far. We actually not understand how the compass works, <laughs> but um, <laughs> overall, it's going to be just us. Well, I say, boy, we're going to keep recording. If we do get eaten by a crocodile, it'll be there, it. and we'll we'll yeah. do a lovely little montage. So, see you, yeah. folks. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Spawn. Bye. Wish us good luck, everybody. Bye. Bye.
the door! No, 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 she needs help. Yes, there's two of them, there's two of them. Oh no, there's a dragon, there's a dragon. Ah, oh, that's it. That's it, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna run. That's the thing that, that's it. That's nothing, no. Oh my gosh, Spawn's died. I'm running, it's getting night time. I'm gonna die. Dig down. It I can't, can't. it's water, down. it's water. Oh crap, you're right. Oh, so close to this portal thing. Does one want to drown or does one want to... Oh my god. Can you, can you still not dig down? Yeah, but I'm in the water. Can you make a little house around you? I'm in. I'm in the water. I think. Yes. Okay, so that was terrible, wasn't it? Are you safe? I am safe in a box. Well, I'd probably tag this onto the last one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we could tag this onto the last one because... It, it's quite short. It's quite short, folks. I think, you know, palm trees being made sounds very nice to me. Okay, so... Um, because then, oh, I tell you, you what, put... I could put stuff in the shelker box. Yeah, and then put that in your ender chest and then pick it up at the other end. Yeah. So, so are you ready to say goodbye to the folks at home, or...? Yeah, we're re I'm ready to die, everybody. Ready so, to die. um, you probably just saw... There we go. I'm dead. We knew that was going to happen, which is why I put everything in my ender chest. And um, that didn't go too well, did it, Spawn? Didn't go very well. No, no, it went really bad. Even though we, I know we're not very good, but I thought we were all right enough to go and walk during the day. Yes. To, to somewhere. To somewhere. And the fact we couldn't even make it that far is a bit disappointing Just... in... Indeed. The whole experience. Indeed. Not it's not a fun. very friendly place, is it? Let's let's face it. Royal let's High SMP outside of Sunset Island is not a very friendly place. No. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, where's the I'm trying to get to the I don't want What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get out of my obituary so I can click on the waystone and go home. <laughs> Here we are. Home. Right, everybody. So thank you so much for joining us again. That was tagged on to the end of the last episode because it didn't make a full episode. So we're, we're going to rethink things and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.